Every now and then the rare movie comes along where every single aspect of the film just works. The Wild Robot is one of those instances. I really can't find any fault with this film. It's a fantastic animated movie. Let's talk about what makes this one so great. Thank you so much for watching the video. Before we get started, click on the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you know whenever I post a new piece of content. Please also follow me on my social medias. You can find me on Instagram at Rural Hometown Zero and on X at Hometown Zero YT. So this movie is what I like to describe as a clear labor of love. You can tell from the very beginning all the way until the very end that every single aspect of the movie has been lovingly crafted. Director Chris Sanders has a great thing going with this movie. It's well written, it looks fantastic, it has this own very unique art style and animation and look and feel. All of the presentation is like world class, top notch. This is a great looking movie. The soundtrack is fantastic. And then there's the performances. So this is a movie about a like AI help robot that's just designed to like complete tasks for you that somehow ends up on this island and essentially becomes the adoptive mother of a runt goose. That's like the gist of the film. And if it sounds weird, it's okay. It completely works. And it works because all of the elements are so lovingly crafted. Pedro, Pedro Pascal's performance um, as the Wiley Fox character is fantastic. You can barely tell it's him. Bill Nye as like the, the kind of like wise sage goose is tremendous. And then this movie is completely just owned by Lupita Nyong'o as Roz, which is the robot, the titular wild robot and the main character of the film. She is fantastic here. And this is one of those movies that has a lot of heart. It wears its emotions on its sleeve. It's not also afraid to borrow some elements from some other great movies of this genre. The first thing I will always think of when I see any sort of material promotion for a movie like this is The Iron Giant, the Brad Bird classic animated film. This movie clearly has some inspiration from that, uh, although that movie dabbles more in like some weird politics and some Cold War fear and McCarthyism, stuff like that. This movie is um, very different. It's like a great kind of adventure, thriller, drama, comedy, sci-fi movie is how I would describe it. Um, performances, again, are fantastic. Great direction, great art direction, fantastic animation. Everything here just works. The Wild Robot is a fantastic movie. If you haven't seen it yet, it's this is legitimately one of the very best movies of 2024. And if you like film and you like seeing movies just come together to completion, this is a great example of that and it is a must see. Thank you so much for checking out this review. It's a bit of a short one, but I appreciate you tuning in this long. You can also uh, hit me up on social media, go down in the comments, let me know what you think. Am I wrong about The Wild Robot? I'm not, this movie's great. And I'll see you next Wednesday at 9 a.m.